Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So for those of you who are new here, my name is Jill and I'm a freshly graduated doctor and this is my YouTube channel. So if you are new here, then I would like you to support me by subscribing to my channel, liking my videos, watching my videos and sharing my videos with others. And if you are a returning subscriber, I'm so grateful that you're coming back for another video of mine. So guys, this video is a video I've been wanting to do for ages now. I guess you all would have read the title already, so I'm pretty sure you guys know what this video is going to be about. So yes, this video is about resources that you can use in medical school. And one thing I wanted to talk to you about before I get started is the fact that when you're in medical school, there's so many resources out there, literally so many. You go on the internet, you google something because you want to find out something. You get so many search results. You then waste your time going through all of them, reading through them and trying them all out. This one suits me, this one doesn't suit me, this one suits me, this one doesn't suit me. So it's such a waste of time because it's easier when you know from other medical students or other doctors what they used and what worked for them because that's most likely going to work for you too. Doesn't mean that it's always going to work for you so you need to keep that in mind because not everybody studies the same way. One thing might work for somebody else and the other thing might force somebody else. So that's important to keep in mind as well. So guys, let's not waste any more time. Let's just get into it. So I'm going to talk about different resources that vary from not only books to websites to videos and all good things that will help you graduate. So guys, there's one more important point that I want to talk to you about is you don't need a hundred books to be able to pass medical school. You just need that one book that actually works for you. It's easy to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on different, different books, trying to find the perfect book for you. So just find that one book that works for you. So just stick to what works best for you. And what I'm trying to say is you don't always have to buy the books. You can always use your library. You can go there and borrow your book. You can also get hand-me-down books from your seniors. And you can also have PDF version of certain books so you can try downloading them as well. So guys, I'm gonna leave the best resource for last because that literally saved my life in medical school. And I can swear by it. If I have not found that, I don't know what I would be doing right now. So don't skip guys and wait till the end and I will tell you exactly what that is. All right guys, let's move on to the first book. First resource is a book. It is Monkhouse Clinical Anatomy and that is one of the very first books I read in medical school and it's used for anatomy by the name of it. I'm sure all of you guys can tell. There used to be so many different books that were available for medical school and especially for anatomy and there are books that were like literally this thick and Monkhouse is literally like only this thick and I'm telling you guys that book is sufficient. It literally has every Everything you need to know enough for you to not only pass but also to get an A. I can guarantee you that. It's made from a medical student's perspective but by an anatomy professor. So it literally has everything you need to know. So that's literally one book you need for anatomy and you're going to be perfectly fine. So that book has loads of pictures, bite-sized information which is to the point, literally does not take long to read and has so many pictures. I think it has questions at the back if I'm not mistaken. If there's anything you need for anatomy it is just that book. There used to be so many resources before there was Moore's clinical anatomy book and Gray's anatomy book and they're all literally so thick. I just feel like that's so much information coming in for something so new that it is so much coming in at one point that you're not going to remember everything so it's always nice when you have the information given to you in small chunks in perfect amount so you don't have to pick and choose what you think you need to know so that's definitely a book I highly recommend you guys especially if you're starting in your first year second year or if you're about to start medical school that's definitely a book I don't have that book with me right now because I've given that book away I'll just put up a picture here so that you guys can check what the book looks like. I'll also link it down in the description so you guys can check it out. So guys, the second resource that I would recommend you guys to use is the Pathoma videos. Pathoma videos really, really helped me out during my second year and my third year. And it mainly the fundamentals of pathology. So when I got lectures from school on certain topics, I would go back and I would watch this video and sometimes it could range from like 10 minutes to actually even 20 to 30 minutes. But trust me, it's worth it. Once you watch those videos, it literally solidifies 
have everything you need to know. It will also help you a lot in understanding certain things. I always found that Pathoma was very helpful and I know so many people in medical school who use the Pathoma lectures and they can literally tell you how good Pathoma is. So that's definitely something you would like to have a look into. And if anybody doesn't have Pathoma videos, you guys can email me. My I'll leave it down here or you guys can check it in the description. Pathoma does give you a basic understanding of pathology and it builds up on your fundamentals and that's literally something you need as you get through med school. So that I would say is definitely worth watching. So guys, the next book I would recommend is Oxford Clinical Handbook. It literally has everything and it's such a small but compact book and you can always carry it around when you're in the ward, when you're in your clinical placement or wherever you go. So all you have to do is open it up and everything you need is right here. It, I highly recommend this book. I just feel like any medical student out there like has to have this book. You should definitely get this book. It has a concise summary of everything you need to know the whole of medicine from rest cardio neuro endo a summary of what you need to know symptoms signs what you'd be looking for like what investigations you you do what the complications could be and it has diagrams as well like even this one it's about like stomach hair i'm not sure if you guys can see but yeah very precise and really good information i wouldn't recommend you reading this first read about the topic maybe from another textbook or another website and then get to this book because this book is more of a summary so it's not as detailed as you would like it to be or you want to have a better idea about what this certain disease is because some diseases are more complicated than other diseases. This is definitely a book you should go through once at least. So another resource that I would highly recommend is PassMed. So in the last year or so, I actually came across PassMed and it has so many different questions. It has questions for like first year, second year, third year, and it also has questions for final year. It also has questions on a situational judgment test that many of us have to sit for for the UK. The only downside to it is that you need to pay for it for like a subscription. So you can pay for a six month year. And I'm not too sure what the other subscription details are but those are the two that I know of so once you do the question and if you get it right then good but if you do get it wrong they have a small summary of what the question was about and what the answer is and why the answer is that so it's actually really good also another thing I'd like to say is that it's so organized in the way that it has cardio rest endo GI literally like every special so if you just want to do ONG you can just pick ONG if you just want to do peds then you can just pick peds and if you want to do maybe three specialties like peds ONG and ENT you just pick all three and you get a bundle of questions that you can actually do they've got hundreds of questions it's really really good questions and going through them especially in final year I would highly recommend you go through them Another brilliant website would be Teach Me Anatomy. So if you're in your first year, your second year, or if you are still planning on going to medical school and you're applying to medical school, that's definitely one website that you should check out. When I was in medical school, I used Teach Me Anatomy and I used Monkhouse, which I spoke about earlier. And they're really good, they're free. They even have certain questions at the end of it. They literally give you bite-sized chunks of information. So it's easy to digest has pictures and the website is very organized. Something I like about it is that it's easy to navigate through. Uh, the website's very clear, like I'm not a person that's good at technology, so I find it hard trying to navigate my way through certain things. So when it comes down to Teach Me Anatomy, everything's straightforward. You just go in, you go and pick what exactly you want. So say you want to learn about the nerves of the arm, the upper arm. So you then just go in and you pick or you can just go in and say you want to learn about the skull. So you just go and click on each and there it is, all the information right there. After you finish reading that, you can just do some questions that they have and Teach Me Anatomy along with Monkhouse would be sufficient in order to get your pass or your A or whichever one you're aiming for. I'm sure most of you would be familiar with this one and that is osmosis. So whether you're a biomedical student, a science student, whichever one you are, you're just a medical student, osmosis is literally one of the go-to resources. Osmosis definitely gives you a better understanding of something you don't know. And so for example, let's say COPD. 
So it gives you exactly what COPD is, how would you diagnose COPD, what kind of symptoms and signs would you be looking for, what investigations you'd be doing, and what's more likely to be the treatment for this disease, complications that occur from it. So like, so it does really give you a detailed explanation of the disease. And I would not rely on it solely, but I would use it at the beginning when I don't understand something to get an idea of what actually I'm trying to learn. Say I don't know what COPD is and I'm reading something and I don't really understand and I want to have like basic knowledge before I read more and get to know more. So I would just watch the video, kind of understand exactly what COPD is, what they're looking for and stuff like that before I build on it. So that's definitely something fundamental. Osmosis is free videos, you can find them on YouTube. So make sure you go check them out. But I would not recommend you solely using osmosis. So you definitely should add on with other resources that I have given or other resources that you already have. Guys, last but not least, this is my all-time favorite, literally. This helped me get through med school in the last two years. I can honestly tell you and I can honestly swear that I, I wouldn't have been able to do it without it. It really, really, really helped me. Not only when it comes to surgery, medicine, it literally helped me in every aspect of medicine. I literally love this and I wish I came across it earlier. And if you guys can guess what it is, comment down below and let's see whether you guys are right. What I would say was a lifesaver for me in the last year and helped me get through my medical school exam, Ambos. So Ambos is a website and it has all things medical, literally for students. It was really, really, really helpful. It has diagrams. It really helped me get through my exam. It helped me so much with consolidating my knowledge. It helped me understand things better. It also has mnemonics on its website that helps you with retaining the information. It gives you a really good insight into what you really need to know and how much you need to know. There's not a whole lot of information. The information that they give you is plenty for you to ace your exams, for sure. And one of the best things about Amboss is that it is completely free and anybody can access it once you go on amboss.com. So guys, I hope you found these tips helpful and if you have any questions, you can comment down below and I would be glad to answer. Or if you want to message me on Instagram, my Instagram handle, I'll just place it here. And I hope this really, really helped you. And the whole purpose of this video is, I know that there's so many videos about resources that medical students can use, but this is more of an up-to-date version since I just graduated this year from medical school. So life changes really fast. So every year you have new resources, new websites, new, new everything. So from my experience of graduating in 2020 and it being so close to making this video, I thought that it's going to be helpful for more students who are currently in medical school, who are just about to get into medical school or who are in their final year of medical school. Uh, this will be more up-to-date resources that I am bringing through. So guys, I really, really, really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you guys can keep up. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you go like, comment on this video and subscribe to my channel and make sure you send this video to other medical students or your friends or anybody else you think would benefit from these videos so we can share the love and continue to grow. So don't forget to subscribe guys and I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Bye!